Following the release of OpenStack Queens, VMware has announced the latest version of its VMware integrated OpenStack at this week's summit in Vancouver. Gabrielli, what's new in VIO 5.0? Yes, yeah, so uh, a range of new functionalities uh, from uh, core platform enhancements, uh, you know, massive scalability, it's one of the core things VMware takes to market, uh, but also, uh, you know, um, enhancements in um, security, uh, identity federation, uh, additional support for uh, containers in the platform, uh, enhanced networking capabilities with, you know, uh, features such as load balancing and so forth. Um, and also, of course, some premium features for uh, telco service providers specifically, you know, focusing on uh, performance and so forth. So I would say a range of different things across the board. Um, and also one very important thing, something that we call VAIO in a box. So a way to actually run in compact mode to address some of the new uh, edge uh, uh, use cases. Well, what do you mean by compact mode? Is this, is this where you've got limited space and, and resources? Yeah, exactly. So uh, uh, it's not just about footprint, but it's also a way to uh, being able to have a very quick and easy install, uh, but also shrink wrapped into a, a smaller footprint. Yeah. Great. Now, OpenStack has developed really rapidly. Um, what's significant about the, the Queen's release? Yeah, I would say Queen's is, uh, you know, evolution of uh, existing uh, OpenStack distribution. Uh, you know, some of the core capabilities, for example, support for GPU. There's a lot of um, uh, discussions right now in how to support, you know, analytics and, uh, you know, AI and so forth. Um, I would say, uh, finally, we start to see some new toolings. For example, Queens introduces a concept of templating, uh, and which is especially important in a telco environment if you look at VNF onboarding and the ability to actually replicate uh, uh, in a more uh, easy way some of these processes. Well, it brings me to my next point, and, and that is, uh, what are the specific telco requirements for OpenStack that may not be the same for your average enterprise user? Yeah, I would say Telco, they push the limit on uh, some of the uh, core uh, performance, networking, uh, uh, you know, distribution environment. So um, with VIO 5, as you know, we have a, something we call VIO Carrier Edition, uh, which is targeted at Telcos. In fact, one of the most, uh, um, you know, significant uh, new features that we're introducing here is support for um, intensive data plane workloads. Uh, uh, so support for new uh, DPDK-based, uh, you know, uh, enhanced virtual switch. Um, uh, we are also introducing uh, something that we call elastic multi-tenancy. Telcos have a, um, a, you know, focused need based on, you know, Etsy architecture and so forth of deploying uh, VNF in a tenant-based uh, environment. Uh, with resource reservation and so forth. So we actually allow we not only uh, multi-tenancy in VAIO, but we are now allowing an elasticity so be able to basically scale these uh, network workloads based on traffic conditions. And you've done this by creating um, two versions of, of 5.0. One is specific to the telco needs. Yeah, so the base version of VIO, VIO, we call it VIO Data Center Edition. Uh, and then the Telco uh, Edition, if you will, we call it Carry Edition, is actually superset. Uh, so in a superset um, because it actually leverages all of the features part of the Data Center Edition. So uh, not two different things, but just one is a superset of the other. Now, why are telcos continuing this, this move and evolution towards virtualization when you look at some of these open source events and the, the, the word of the day is containers. We're all talking about containers now. Yeah, yeah. well, I think it's a long road, right? A uh, long road because we are, uh, this evolution is um, towards virtualization or containerization or cloud native applications uh, um, requires, you know, changing architectures. So move from physical to, let's say, generation one virtual application to generation two uh, virtualization. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, with VIO, as a VIM, a virtualized infrastructure manager in the telco industry, we already support both virtual machine-based workloads and container-based workloads because we have a Kubernetes distribution uh, included. Uh, so as you see, we are actually adapting to the uh, evolution of the market, but this is not going to be a, a one zero or a, a, a quick jump. Uh, I think for the foreseeable future, we'll see a mix of physical 
uh, uh, network function, virtualized network function uh, through virtual machine, uh, virtualized network function repackaged in containers, and virtualized network functions re-architected or refactored in a cloud native way. So for those telcos who like what they see in Veo 5.0, but are using another vendor's distro of OpenStack, yeah. how can they transition? Is it, is it how complicated is, is the move? <laughs> yeah, I think um, there's, first of all, we have, uh, we're actually writing a set of toolings to ease transition from uh, distribution to distribution, uh, but also we're writing a set of tooling to ease transition and migration from uh, private cloud to uh, hybrid or, or public cloud environments as well. Uh, uh, the question becomes, you know, uh, how is uh, one architecture versus the other? So uh, we can't uh, superficially say you can migrate from here to there. Uh, but the point is that we believe we have some of the best toolings to actually move into VIO. And uh, uh, actually with VIO 5, it's uh, an additional improvement for that. Great. Gabriele, thanks for joining us on Telecom okay. TV today. Thanks.